First time hatching jumbo white Catornis quail. All right, y'all, so my quail eggs just arrived. So they got them nicely packaged with some bubble wrap. And if y'all looking for some um, quail eggs, like I said, I got them from Sandy Soil Farms. I'm gonna put a link in the description and the, the uh, quail eggs I got were jumbo white Catornix quail. And as you can see, you got a styrofoam on top. And wow, look at that y'all, the quail eggs. Look at that there. All right, let me get these out carefully. And like I said, they specifically say wash your hands before handling them so they don't get contaminated. And you have to stand them up upright for 24 hours before you put them into the incubator. So let me go ahead and get them out. So when I say have the eggs upright, what you wanna do is have the pointy part down and the other part upright. See that? Pointy part down, the other part upright. And that's for 24 hours to get the eggs to settle after being shipped. But the 24 hours have passed, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the eggs put inside the incubator. The incubator I decided to go with is Keybonics, the digital incubator. The temperature that they recommend for quail is 99.5 for the temperature and 45% humidity. All right, so y'all can see the temperature is where it needs to be, 99.5. The humidity is 46%. They recommend 45%. And how you uh, fluctuate the humidity, for those who are thinking about getting the uh, Keybonics Digital Incubator, your water going to here, and how you can control it is by using this little level right there to uh, open and close to control the humidity. So we are moving right along. We now have approximately 14 days until the quail eggs are ready to hatch. So I think now would be a great time for me to go ahead and set up their brooder. All right, y'all, so we're gonna end up doing two different brooders. I'm gonna do one in this plastic tote right here, and then I'm gonna end up building one um, out of wood. So I got my heat plate right here, and I do have the old way where you can use a heat lamp. And then I have another heat plate, which is currently outside with my um, chickens. So I have my pine shavings right here for the bottom. I have my small waterers right here. And then I have my rocks. And these rocks are because baby quail can fall in the waterer and drown. Okay, y'all, so this is how my temporary brooder turned out. I got my plastic tote. I got my water with the rocks in it. I got my feeder. We got some pine shavings down there at the bottom. And then we got the heat plate. Now, this is just going to be temporary. I plan on building them one out of wood. But I just wanted to get something set up in case I don't have a chance to um, build it. So I'm going to end up putting hardware cloth on the top of it because I lost the top. If I kept the top, then I would end up drilling some holes in it so they can get some uh, fresh air that way. But I'm gonna have to go with the hardware cloth on the top. Okay, y'all, so we are down to the last three days before the quail eggs hatch. So now what I have to do is I have to quickly take the um, dome off, remove the little center cap that's above the um, yellow turning rotator part, snatch that rotator part out, put that centerpiece back in and put the dome, dome back on as quick as possible, not to drop the uh, humidity. And with the last three days, they said, try to have the humidity at um, 60% and the temperature at 99.5. So I already put added more water into the uh, reservoir right here and started getting the um, humidity up. And now I'm about to go ahead and quickly snatch this um, dome off and get that piece out. And the reason being is when the quail hatch, they won't trip over the um, 
yellow rotator part and be able to walk around. And then plus I have to leave the little window part right here all the way open. That's how they're going to get their oxygen inside of there. So as you can see, I got the yellow rotating device taken out and we have approximately three days until the quail eggs will be ready to hatch. All right, y'all, I had to run back out to attract the supply because I seen they had the quail waterers. So I think I'm gonna utilize these right here. So y'all can see the difference in size between a quail waterer versus a chicken waterer. Since they only had two of these in stock, my wife convinced me to just go ahead and just get both of them. And I'll put the electrolytes in one and just regular water in the other. And I'll just save this one when I start hatching chicken. Da, 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 da. All right, y'all. So today is the day I've been waiting for. Today is the day that the quail eggs are supposed to hatch. I noticed a couple of the eggs are rolling around inside of the incubator, which lets me know that they can hatch at any moment now. So now it'd be a great time for me to go ahead and get their food water and electrolytes put inside of their container and put inside of the brooder. So the feed that I got from my quail is by Perina. The name brand is Dumar and it's 14% game bird maintenance and this is the crumbles. And the electrolytes that I'm giving them is this right here by Prairie Pride. Okay y'all, so we have the game bird feed into the container. We have the electrolytes and then the water. And we're gonna go ahead and get them put inside the brooder. And then we're just gonna sit back and wait for them to hatch. Okay, so right now we are at a 50% hatch rate. And what a hatch rate is, um, you just take the number of quail eggs that you have and see how many then hatched out of that number. And that gives you your percentage of your hatch rate. So ordered 15 quail eggs, they sent in 18. And out of the 18 right now, nine of the quail um, eggs have hatched, which gives us a 50% hatch rate. We still have a chance for some more to hatch. Um, it's been 10 hours. They recommend leaving them in the incubator 24 hours after they hatch to see if any of the other ones gonna hatch. So I wanted to give y'all an idea so y'all can see how small these quail actually are for those who don't have quail and who considering uh, raising quail. Look at this quarter right here. That gives you an idea how small the quail eggs are and how small the uh, quail actually are compared to this quarter right here. So they, they are tiny, y'all. Okay, y'all, so the 24 hours have passed and I was able to take the baby quail out of the incubator and put them inside of the brooder. We're gonna leave the eggs that's left over in the incubator a little longer and hopefully we'll get some of those to um, hatch out. I did notice with some of the quail um, that are inside of the brooder now that they have what's called curled feet. And what that is, is their feet are curled up from being inside of the egg. There is a way to, um, to correct it. I plan on doing that tomorrow. So if you're interested in seeing how I'm gonna um, fix their curl feet and you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel, clicking that notification bell so you don't miss none of my future videos. And as always, thank y'all for watching.